Welcome to another episode of How to RC. As you'll see in the following clips, I'm in the desert in Arizona. The feature truck in this episode, as in many others, is my 2.5 T-Mac. new Cherokee body. So what you're looking at here is a Turnagy Trackstar short course truck, five turn, 550 size motor, rated at 4,150 kV for 2 or 3 S, supposed to be a maximum draw of 120 amps. So to go with it, I have a Hobby King X car, 120 amp, 2 to 3 S speed control. The motor retails for $47.71. The speed control for $36.44. Unfortunately, they're not available in the USA warehouse, so you're going to have to pay shipping from China. Uh, I'm also running a Turnagy Nanotech uh, 5.3 amp 2 cell uh, 50 to 100 C battery. Many of you ask if an 8 scale motor will fit in How to RC motor mount. Yes. The bolt pattern is the same, so it will bolt right on. We don't recommend 8 scale motors. I'll tell you why. I'm going to try to explain this to you. This is not a race car. It's not going to hold the land speed record. The tires balloon up. They're way too big, too soft. They're wonderful for bashing and running in the dirt. The other thing is that when you go from a nitro motor to an electric motor, all the energy of this motor is available instantly when you hit that throttle. Not like the nitro motor. The nitro motor you had to feed fuel to it, the RPMs had to come up, you had to spin up that centrifugal clutch, and you were looking for what they call the power band, the sweet spot where all the power is. And it took a while to get there. In terms of a comparison with this electric motor, it took a long time. So everything got moving easily. When you nail the throttle on this thing with the slipper clutch tightened right down hard like I run mine, all that power is available immediately. Bang! All that torque, all that power hits everything at the same time. So if you're running a plastic spur gear, your pinion and a metal pinion gear, first thing that's going to happen is if the lash isn't set just right, the pinion gear is going to eat the spur gear and you're not going to go anywhere. Uh, the second thing that's going to happen is that the uh, plastic wheel drive shafts are going to twist up like a licorice stick. Then you're going to ruin the gears in the diff. First the rear one, because the front wheels come off of the ground and uh, they get a break. Until of course they come back down on the ground, spinning at speed, and then they get a pretty hard jolt there. Uh, and every time you hit the brakes. so. 
The next thing that's going to happen is this thing is going to be really moving. Uh, I don't have a, a radar gun, uh, but I'd estimate this this truck right here the way it is with a 2S battery does 35 in there with a 3S probably 45 miles an hour, 42, 3, 4, 5 miles an hour. Let's go back to the speed. So now we got this truck doing 35 miles an hour and you hit a curbing or a telephone pole or a speed limit sign which you're probably breaking. It's going really fast and you're going to break stuff. This truck, the way it is right now, weighs almost exactly the same as it did as a nitro truck. So, it was engineered to operate at this weight. If you add uh, another battery, if you go to one of these 2200, 2600 kV 8-scale motors, you're going to have to double or triple your battery, which doubles and triples the weight. These batteries weigh over a pound a piece. So, if you need two of them, you've added another pound, which is 10% of the weight of the truck. The truck weighs right around 10 pounds. And, and those motors are huge. They've got to weigh almost twice as what this weighs. But it weighs a whole lot more. What does that mean? Well, it means it's that much harder to get it moving. So that it's that much harder on the gears, the transmission, the differentials, the drive shafts, all that stuff, trying to get all that extra weight moving. What else does it mean? It means that when you hit that telephone pole, it's going to do a lot more damage. To all you guys that are going to ask me, can I put a Mamba Max motor on here? You can. It will bolt on. I don't recommend it because you're going to break stuff. Let's get to the footage. Take two.